Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Northern Chesterfield. More specifically, I'm off the Belmont Road corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, two and a half bath townhome. This townhome is located here in a townhome community uh, that was built in about 2011. And so, by Richmond standards, it's relatively new construction. I believe Ryan Homes was the developer on this home. And the thing that they are definitely known for is their floor plans. And this home does not disappoint. We've got not only a good floor plan, but we have plenty of storage. We don't normally associate townhomes with storage, but this one definitely does not disappoint in that regard. Uh, the other thing I like about this home is the condition. This is probably in the top 10% of bank and government owned homes as far as property condition. Our walls are serviceable and our carpet does not need to be replaced and that's not typical. As we come in, we have of course an open floor plan here to our left, a coat closet. We've got a little repair needed there, but no big deal. They sell those at every home improvement store. Uh, this front room is of course our probably our more formal space. Uh, we transition here into our formal dining area and to the rear, of course, our kitchen, a nice big island and high definition laminate countertops. Pantry for additional storage. All of the appliances do convey. We've got the black builder grade refrigerator there with ice and water in the door and microwave electric range. This home is all electric. We've got plenty of counter space here, as you can see. Uh, the rear of the home backs up to a conservation area. And I'm going to pop out here and show you the benefit of that. This home does not have a rear deck. However, someone can add one. I'm going to give you a look here at the neighbors. We've got neighbors on both sides that have actually added a deck. There's a sign there that says resource protection area to remain in a natural state. So what that means is you're not gonna have anyone build directly behind you. So you've got nice privacy there. And of course, if someone wanted to add a deck here, they could. Okay, we're gonna go on downstairs. My viewers from the north will appreciate we've got a basement, a full finished basement. And we don't see that very often in this area. We definitely don't see it very often in townhome communities. Before we go down, we have a powder room. And uh, as I've said in many videos previously, when the bank and government come in to preserve these homes, they typically will do a winterization. And that's what that signage there, along with the tape and the red solution in the toilet is. Um, contrary to popular belief, I've had uh, individuals in the past that have come up with the theory that someone was murdered in these homes because there is blood in the toilet. Uh, that is a very, very uh, conspiratorial, I made that word up, conspiratorial uh, thought. Um, it is just simply antifreeze to keep the pipes from freezing. Uh, this is the storage I was mentioning earlier. We've got probably a 10 by 12 room here that is perfect for storage. Washer dryer hookups are there directly ahead. Electric water heater and a heat pump. Plenty of storage here in this downstairs level. Uh, we're going to pop out here. We've got a nice big woman cave. This is a great, great space. If you have a, a nice wide screen, you can put that here with some large furniture, or a pool table, whatever you choose. There's plenty of space to do it down here. I wanted to talk a little bit on this video about lenders. Uh, a lot of times when it's time to get a mortgage, uh, someone will just simply pop into their bank or uh, hopefully they're dealing with a real estate professional that will put them in touch with a good experienced lender that's going to work with them effectively. Um, but I had a, a young lady that called the other day and she said, well, the agent I was working with had a lender and it looked like they knew each other and I just wasn't comfortable about that. And so I answered a bunch of questions for it and I, I told her that was actually a good thing. The Real estate and the mortgage industry, obviously they need each other. And a good real estate agent is gonna have a, a, probably a few lenders that they deal with on a regular basis that have treated their people right, that provide good service and know their business inside and out. The particular lender I use primarily for my first time buyers, they know the grant programs 
like the back of their hand and they have very, very, very good success in working with first time buyers. Um, a lot of lenders won't even mention grant programs to a first time buyer because that's not their specialty. They don't get any additional income from doing that. And frankly, it's more work. So it's important to not only know who you're dealing with, but what they specialize in, what their experience level is. You are dealing with the most expensive investment in most cases in your life. So you definitely want to have people working with you, people working for you that not only have your best interest at heart, but are also going to work hard to get you the best, the absolute best deal and the most benefits that you can get. So it's important to know who you're working with. That's one thing I pride myself in is that trying to get to know all of the ins and outs about a real estate transaction. There are many things that you only learn through experience. And that's why working with a good experienced agent, a good experienced loan officer is priceless. Okay. We've got our hall bath here. Once again, we're in great condition. Notice the tile around the floor. We've got a shower head in place. I don't have to replace that. We're looking really, really good here. Okay. Our master is right here. Uh, 2011, they put in really good sized masters. So that's a big, big plus of a newer property. They knew what consumers wanted and needed. And we also have a really nice walk-in closet as well. I've sold homes that had bedrooms that weren't even this big. So this is really, really nice. Okay. Let me show you a master bath is right here. I've had a lot of feedback from people all over the, actually from all over the world. And I'm seeing more and more questions come about. Um, I want to make my videos a little bit more interactive, my YouTube channel, my Facebook channel. So if you have questions of any type, go ahead and ask them in regards to real estate. I have people ask me all types of things that you would never imagine. And, um, for, uh, Debbie in Petersburg, answer your question. Yes, I am single. And, um, yes, I do like to be invited out to dinner every now and then by eligible single women. So that's just one of the questions I received here this week. And many others are related to real estate. And I, of course, always answer those as well. If you have questions or interested in a home that you can call your own, please give me a call. My name is Max Williams. I can be reached at 402-7788 on Facebook. I can be reached at Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking a tour. Have a great day.